Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning, um, Monday morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend, barring all the tragedies that we hear on the news. I hope everybody personally had a decent weekend. And uh, so yeah, I've got a couple projects today. First, we're going to start off with the Little Society of Idea Collectors. We haven't done one in a couple weeks. And uh, it's going to be like just a brief one. It's not going to be anything, um, you know. Y'all know, if you've watched the first however many episodes, we have, what do you have, 11, 12 uh, episodes of Society Idea Collectors. All those episodes are, and I think it was Terry that said, they're, they're tools. They're not, it's not like this is a project, this is your homework, and then we do another show. Um, all the things that we do on the Society Idea Collectors, they're, they're ideas. They're ideas to generate. You use it as a tool. Just like, you know, well, I'm not going to give examples. I think y'all should get it. Um, so when you have mind mapping or list making or list combinations or list and mind mapping and all those things, they're not just a show for you to do something with and then we go on to something separate and something different. They're all to be used over and over, you know, for different projects. And I am going to go ahead and put the link again to Mary. Mary Altier did a, um, a flip of her current... Society of Idea um, comp book and it's full <laughs> and she did it like an hour and a half or something like that flip of her book and talked about all the different things that she's done the ideas she's got from it and how she's made it her own so I really would recommend y'all look at Mary's show and like I said I'll put a link in the description box after the show um, if you're watching this on YouTube that you, you'll you see how it works, how it gets um, made personal, how the idea collecting is personal, and how you generate ideas, more than just the examples I give. I just give exa some examples, and some projects we do more than others, like we did the, you know, we did the Halloween uh, bat turtle and the squirrel mummy and things like that um, so you have to take the projects and and work them you have to do the mind mapping you have to do the list making if you don't do all that stuff you will not get it trust me it's one of those projects that you have to do it to get it if you don't do the projects then you say well what's next week that's not going to do you any good it is not going to do you any good at all just to wait till the next week and say, well, maybe I'll like next week's project. It doesn't work that way. It's a building thing. It's a building process. It's kind of like when you learn math. you got to start with 1 plus 1, then you work up to division, then you work up to fractions. And, you know, it's like that. So, uh, and anyway, so I don't know who you're talking about, Connie. I'm sorry, I missed something. I don't know that gentleman that you're talking about. So, yeah. You put it in caps, so I'm assuming you're talking to me. So, if you, I don't know who you're talking about, that gentleman. So, maybe you could put that in caps as well. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> if you're watching this on YouTube, this is a live show on Ustream. And it's unedited, it's real time, no speed it up. They're going to be two and a half hours long. Not this particular episode, but my videos are long. They're not edited, they're not speeded up, they're just a live show. And um, yeah, so if you are watching the recording though, and you want to get to a project or move on, just fast forward, just fast forward. And... Um, Exactly. The mind mapping. You got to do it to get it. Exactly, Galena. Exactly. So, hi, Veronica. Um, yes, that's what we're going to talk about, Krusty. All right. So, if y'all watched over the weekend, Hubster and I went down to a, a, an old abandoned graveyard. But, and I will put the link for this as well, uh, Connie and Janet both directed me to the link. Um, and I'll put it in the chat here to findagrave.com. 
So in findagrave.com, we found, or they found, and then we looked it up even more, uh, all the information on those people, the Clarks, that we uh, did the rubbings on their graves. So I got the two rubbings here. And this is going to segue into the society. The society. <laughs> but like, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, never mind. I can't think of his name. Um, so here was John Clark's. This was the rubbing we did for. Hi, Leanne. Anybody else popping in? Um, <laughs> thanks, Prisma. So John Clark. Born on the 19th, 17, uh, let's see, on November the 19th, 1780, and died November 27, 1870. He was 90, uh, was that 90? Yeah, 90 years old and eight days. And then he left a little, a uh, little quote there. And then his wife, um, this is the other one. I got the, uh, the wife one is in the car. Uh, I left the other one downstairs. This was a this was the second one. Is this the second one? No, this is it. Wife of. Okay, I just saw John Clark and I said, oh, this is the same one. Wife of John Clark. It didn't have her name here, but her name is in that graveyard registry. And I think they had like eight kids, and it talked about their history, what they did for a living. Of course, she was a mom. <laughs> All those kids. I think it was eight. Maybe it was more. Uh, uh, wife of John Clark, born July uh, 1798 and died in 1879, 78, I think. Anyway, all this information was is spelled out on that um, website. She might have had like 18 kids. I don't remember, Terry. It's 8 or 18. It was a lot. Anyway, uh, so she was 89 when she died, and he was 90, uh, I think. I think she outlived him a few a couple of years. But anyway, yeah, 78, 70, yeah, maybe eight years. So anyway, these are the rubbings that we took from their headstones. And the graveyard's all like it's bro the, two, the, the stones are broken in half. And Hubster turned one over and set it back up nice. And, you know, but anyway, it's just out in the woods, right? It's just out in the woods. Yes, they do, Galeen. I'll tell you how the family knows. Because somebody in their family is the one that uh, maintained or put up anyway, put up the information on that site. Okay? Um, and so somebody does. You know, someone in their family. Of course, I don't know still to this day. I did not check the date of the publication, what date they posted. But there's pictures of it. You know, if y'all saw my little videos... Um, you, you saw the rock wall around it, and uh, there's pictures of that rock wall. Um, I don't know, Eileen. Have no idea. Have no idea. It's just in the woods, so I don't know. Yeah, the stone wall, Azure. Yeah, there's pictures of that. So anyway, thanks to um, Janet and Connie finding that site. Again, I'll post the link here for you guys. It's called Find a Grave. Findagrave.com. So, yeah, I, you know, it, it may or may not help you in a search for a relative or something. I know that Janet's really into the genealogy and stuff, and she she and Connie are the ones that told me about that site. So, anyway, in in lieu of or in light of that, I wanted us to do a little bit of idea collecting on exploring. So, my idea for the Society of Idea Collector, and I'm thinking, I'll have to look it up for sure. I'm not sure what episode this is, 12 maybe. Anyway, I'll post, I post all my Society Idea Collector videos in a playlist. There's a Society of Idea Collector playlist. So whether they're numbered correctly, they're all in there. <laughs> so anyway, um, so 
because we did that and we have plans to go to some other historic places around us and do more little film little videos like that those were the first videos that I tried to do with my iPhone and a couple of things one I should have turned the phone sideways to get a uh, you know wide screen um, didn't even think about it and then the first video I forgot to upload to with HD I just uploaded it and the second one I did in HD but it's so quick to do it from your phone you just film have the app on your phone the YouTube app on your phone and upload there you go you know it's really easy to do videos it'll be episode 13 thanks thanks Pacola um, it's so easy so we have a list we made a list for 2018 of places we'd like to go including the Bigfoot Museum <laughs> We want to go to, you know, back to Sonoma where they do the Walking Dead, uh, you know, film that. We we have a list. Um, we've been to Sonoma before, but we want to do it again anyway. So um, we have a list of probably about 10 places at least. Um, I'm not sure how long you can record on your phone. I've seen people do sh full on videos from, you know. Uh, so I'm not sure. And some of it may depend on your memory. Now, I've got max memory on my iPhone. I like, I don't know, 280 gig. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, it's not. So I, it might have something to do with your memory as well. Um, I haven't tried to do any more than that first video was six or seven minutes. And then the second one, we didn't, I didn't know how to pause it. I was just going to pause the video and then, you know, go to the other headstone and do the rubbing on it. But Hubster just clicked the off button. So <laughs> anyway, thanks Prisma. So I'm going to, we're going to try to do some more of that go out and explore. I want to go to the Georgia mounds. Um, there, you know, so anyway, there's a lot of things that I'd like to go do. And so it'll get us both like out and doing stuff you know and uh, yeah yeah exactly well I think uh, button I think a uh, gin reading with pugs streams from her phone but that's not recording I don't think I think she's doing that live isn't she I think Jen does that live so I'm not sure if it's actual recording onto the phone yeah well the data limits won't really matter if you record you're recording it, you know, you're not uploading. I didn't upload it till I got home with Wi-Fi. I didn't have no, there's Jen. I had no idea how long it would take using data, and I didn't want to use my data anyway to upload a video. So I just recorded it, which doesn't take Wi-Fi or data. You're just recording, just like taking a picture, right? You're just recording onto your phone. It's the uploading to YouTube that I, I wanted the Wi-Fi for. Anyway, so we'll get on past that because that's all, you know, playing and testing and figuring that kind of stuff out. Anyway, so what, what I thought to, uh, to discuss today for the Society Idea Collectors was the word explore. So I would think, I would like you to, now whether you actually go there or not, that's up to you. And I know, don't have anybody tell me I can't go, my health, don't, you know, you can go on the computer if nothing else. <laughs> right um, so if you can't physically go at least go do the research so find a place within 40 miles of where you live for 30 40 50 you can decide yourself it's, there's no rule here right and and say why why would you like to go to that place what makes you what what makes you interested why are you interested in visiting that place um, what can you find out about it with your research? Go online, or if you have a book on it, depending on where you live, it's, it could be a local history that is really, um, in, you know, known to your area. I mean, like if you live next to, you know, um, the Statue of Liberty, you know, you're not going to have any problem finding out the history of the Statue of Liberty, right? <clears throat> so... So anyway, what can you find out about it? Do your research. Who made this place? And, and by just not just who, but like all the who's behind it. You know, look, really dig into the history of that place. Because if it interests you that much that you'd like to know about it and research it and go visit it if possible, then find out as much about it before you go. 
because then when you go all the who what where why when and hows you'll have that information and it's going to be so much more meaningful more meaningful to you um what is there to explore there is there just a monument or is there a bunch of stuff to go see you know is there uh, you know a lot of history around of course if you're in washington new york you know the, the big cities there's going to be tons of things that you'll uh interact with more than just the one place but if you live in small towns like i do i mean we're outside of atlanta we can go to all the places in atlanta which we have done but um we have a list of about 10 kind of different kind of things you know that we just thought would be fun to go do uh, and how, uh, let's see, oh, and so if it is hard to get to or difficult, what if it's a place that is really, you can't visit? I know that there's a lot of historical sites that you have to have special permission to go to. You have to either get the landowner or it's, you know, on government property and you can't just go traipsing around. So if it is one of those places, what can you do to further your exploration of that place? Okay, yeah, there's ghost towns and yeah, exactly, Corinne. Uh, there's all kinds of places like that. I know in Savannah, we've done the ghost tours and gone to the Bonaventure graveyard. You know, there's all kinds of, you know, places you can do tours with too. So are tours an option? So, you know, keep that in mind if it's a place that, uh, and... <laughs> tours an option for your um you know exploring so i would also recommend you did this years ago with frank at uh fern cliff cemetery joan crawford and a ton of celebrities are buried there. yeah see jen so whether it's a cemetery like with you know the rubbings i did in some places you know there's probably you know you probably can't go do a rubbing on joan crawford's grave you know it's a headstone or or mausoleum or whatever you know but you know this one that we went to is just out in the woods deserted you know it's unkept you know so um yeah so we took the rubbing off of that one and looked at the and again if you're just coming in i'm going to post this site again that um, uh, janet and connie found it's called find a grave and uh, so if you want to find in your area, you can put in your, your, con your uh, con I mean, your uh, state and county. So you can put in, you know, if you want to find it. Yeah. Well, I, I, all the questions, I just put down this as an example, okay? Y'all should know how to do the six questions by now, <laughs> if you've been keeping up, because this is episode 13. Thank you, Bacola. So anyway, also look up the word explore. Look up the uh, synonyms for explore, you know, and, and, and get more inspired by what it means to explore research you know look look up the the synonyms for it and and you know do a little mind map just on the word explore and then pick you a place and ask all your questions and do a mind map and uh, make some lists and see what you come up with and uh, so that's what i would recommend that's that's today's society idea collectors and um yeah so i am going to do because uh, Kate the Skate has sent us, hang on here, has it sitting here because we haven't done an episode for a couple weeks. Kate sent us some um, stick. she made some stickers of Society Idea Collectors, which I thought was cute, but she sent us some little um, pen taps. So I'm going to give away, I'll give one to each person. I'll throw in some other little art cards. Not art, not my handmade art cards. I don't have any made. I have to make more. Uh, but some, you know, some washi tape or something kind of fun just to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick out three people out of the bowl. And uh, this is a separate giveaway from the other giveaways we do. The other giveaways where we do random.org, where we do random.org and and just you know do random giveaways this is a random giveaway but it's only the people that have given me their address to be in the society of idea collectors let me also say this real quick 
if you, and I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm not trying to be, you know, if don't just say, add me to your giveaways. Don't just email me, say, put me in your giveaways. Please don't do that. That shows me you have no interest in the Society of Idea Collector. Uh, at least tell me what kind of book you're using, what interests you, what kind of ideas you would like to collect, what interests you in it. If you're just in it for the giveaways, you know, sure, you know, you're in. But, you know, that's no fun for you or anybody else. So, you know, at least be a, a little bit of a part of it. Because here's the thing, guys. I got to say, Mary and a couple others that, um, and, I, and I know there's people out there. And if you do watch this video and you're out there and I'm, I have not, I don't follow you on YouTube. Or I don't know who you are. Or, and you're doing Society Idea Collectors, message me or leave me a comment on this video or, you know, on the Society of uh, Idea Collector video. Leave me a comment and tell me, and, and I'll allow you to post, a, you know, a link to your video if it's on Society of Idea Collectors in my comments. Okay, because I really want to uh, see what everybody out there is doing. And again, um, look at Mary Altier. I'm going to leave a link in her um, to her video. She did a whole hour and a half or so flip of her Society of Idea Collecting comp book and her plans for future collecting. And she's done, you know, she did Sebastian, um, a four part Halloween uh, drawing and storytelling. She's, she's, she's to me like the epitome of where you can take the Society of Idea Collectors. Not that everybody has to do all that work or as much as Mary or any of that, but it shows you what can be done. So if you, you know, don't get enough here, go look up, you know, a hashtag SOIC or hashtag Society of Idea Collectors. I've seen both. Um, and, and go look at what other people are doing with mind mapping, list making, and, and, and different things that they're doing, okay? Again, you know, so these are the people that have sent me their address. That wanted, there's more in here than it looks. Um, <laughs> and uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to give me your address to be in the Society of Idea Collectors. If you don't want, you know, to give anybody, that's fine. And I do not share your address or emails or you're not on any email list you know, none of that stuff if you give me your address. Just kind of like, you know, clearing that up. Um, so I have, this is how many people that we have in the society. These are index cards. This is a, you know, this is how many people. There's a couple, probably, I don't know, maybe over 150 maybe. I don't know. Now, just, you know, these are the people that are in it. But these are the people that have given me their address. Again, you do not have to give me your address to be in the society or to make videos or post stuff about society. You don't have to be in the drawing. But if you want to be in the giveaways, then I need your address, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick three different people. And again, I'm going to... Uh, give everybody their little sticky uh, this cardstock with stickers and it's a pin loop so you can put this in whatever kind of you know if you do a traveler's society idea collector a comp book a three ring binder whatever kind of you know book you're doing for the society idea collectors this is a little pin loop that uh, Kate the Skate sent us some so I'm going to draw three names I'm going to cover up the bowl like this and kind of dig down in here and flip, flip them up flip them all up and then I'm going to I'm going to uh, dig down the bottom and I'm going to pick three different people let's pick one at a time the first person is Doreen B and this is people that might be on YouTube as well but I have their address so I can send them stuff so Doreen B okay let's do another one whoops let me get those that fell out hang on we're not going to lose any but we're not going to lose anybody <laughs> All right, so let me dig down the bottom. I'm not looking. The next one is, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Joan Rainey. That's the second one. And the third one, let's dig down here on the bottom. The third person is Shells. So those three people, um, you are you talking about Travis Connie the art journal I forget the name of his channel is that Travis I'm not sure his name okay so anyway 
Connie was just telling me. Um, all right, so I am going to get some little post-it notes here because I don't want to lose your names. And the, each one will get a pin loop and, you know, I'll throw some other things, you know, some washi tapes or something in an envelope. So it's just little giveaways, no big thing right at this point. You know, I do quite a few giveaways, but um, so this is just what I'm doing right now for Society Idea Collectors is just giving some little things away whenever I do a show. Okay, or most shows anyway. So that will be sent to them. Okay, so that's the that's your homework is doing something, exploring in your area. Um, okay, um, okay, guys. So, all right. So that's that's the assignment, if you will. And again, everything that I show you guys on the Society Idea Collectors, it's it's not necessarily in a you know sequential order although you really need your list and you really need to practice doing some mind mapping whether it's the ones i show or go look them up there's thousands of ways to mind map and list online it doesn't really matter which method you're using but that you do it you have to do it to get it because you your mind is going to work different than mine or mary's or anybody else's and so um, you know, when you take the word explore and, and, and question out what it means to you, it's going to mean something different to you than it does to me. So just writing down everything I show you gives you a jump start, but it's not going to explore your mind. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I saw that, Connie, if you're talking about Travis. If that's who, yeah, that was some months ago. Yes, I saw him then. Yeah. I did link him in my video at one point as well. Okay, so there's that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. And again, let me show the, um, these are the rubbings that we did. So you can see how big they are. They're quite large here. And uh, it was really interesting just to go out and, you know, do some exploring. And then come back and find the links for the uh, to find them online uh, apparently somebody in their family you know put it on the grave site uh, on the website you know all the information about all their family members so anyway so I hope y'all kind of enjoyed that and the two little videos Hubster and I did and you know I'm, I'm looking forward to going out and doing you know some more little short videos of places that we can go explore so hang on guys and thanks for watching and we'll be right back with another you know project <laughs>